before this season, VCU hadn't had a two game home losing streak in two years, but the Rams were in the middle of one after their overtime loss to Memphis last Wednesday. VCU was hoping to get back on track against an Alcorn State team that started the season one and seven. A Sunday matinee at the Seagull Center where fans got to see one of VCU's best games this season. First half, former Verona and John Marshall standout Jason Nelson with one of his three triples. He had 14. VCU started the game on a 6 nothing run. A few minutes later, the nice pass to Toby Lawall with a strong finish. He recorded his second career double-double, 10 points and 10 boards. Rams were up by as many as 14 in the first half. Alcorn State will make it close behind their leading scorer, Jeremiah Kendall. They get within three, but VCU's three-point shooting would get going. Jackson had 18 and seven assists. Max Shulga will get to the rim for two of his 13. However, the story was Kwani Kwani, who began the day 0 of 16 from three, was four of six from behind the arc and finished with a season high 15, one of six players in double figures in their 86-56 win. Meanwhile, VCU is not accepting the NCAA ruling that will keep former Monacan basketball standout Joe Bamasil on the bench this season. In a report from the Times Dispatch and confirmed to CBS 6 Sports, Rams Athletic Director Ed McLaughlin said the university is prepared to pursue legal action and exhaust every option for Bamasil to be eligible this season. Bamasil, or actually McLaughlin, told CBS 6 Sports Friday night, we will support Joe on any and every path so he receives a fair and just result to play this season. Season. Last week, the NCAA denied the transfer waiver request made by the school. Bamisil returned to finish his degree at VCU to be closer to his father, who has had a series of health issues.